Hey, what's up, y'all? We back at it again, man. It's Big Sock the Voice. And y'all got to forgive me, man. Give me a few days and a few, you know, a little bit of time to get everything in order. Right now, I'm over my uncle's house, man. We doing this motherfucker. You know, got my man behind the scenes, you know, helping me out with it. You know how this go. But we're going to get it together, and this is going to be, you know, y'all going to enjoy the ride. But listen, right? A lot of people been DMing me and asking me about that Gilly the Kid and Aunt Glizzy beef. Of course, a lot of people don't know because I guess, you know, some people, they looked at it like, okay, we just going to publicize that Aunt Glizzy and Gilly the Kid was beefing and this was some type of internet hoax that went on and it was just random, right? Well, that's not quite true. What actually happened was, yours truly went on Gilly the Kid's live, and I spoke to him, and I tried to be on all positivity. I tried to tell him, like, listen, man, you know, in D.C., which is, anyone that knows me, is nothing more important to me than reaching out to these youngers, right? Because these young guys are the future. They are, or they can be the ones that, when, you know, you need to see a doctor. They are your doctors. They can be the ones that when you need a lawyer, they will be your lawyers. They can be the ones. So if I can give them some of my experience, right, and allow them to, you know, learn from my mistakes, right, then I would love to do that. So, you know, I went on Gilly Live because I know that that's what Gilly and his, you know, wild old dude. And yeah, what's up, nigga? I ain't nothing, man. I'm just showing love from D.C., man. My name's Sight, right? What's up with you, brother? I ain't nothing, man. You know, just doing a lot of positive down here in this city, right? You know, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. It's an honor and a pleasure, man. It's you know, pleasure. and uh, I respect the work you do. You know, you and your brother, man. I respect what y'all doing, man. We see what y'all doing, man. You know, and if you, if you got time, right? I yeah. want you to check out, you know, this interview that I did on YouTube, right? Yeah. You know, uh, basically the same type of thing that y'all got going on. But, you know, uh, you know, maybe, man, hopefully, man, you find, you know, some interest in what we got going on down here, right? And maybe we get together, man, and try to see what's happening, right? Yeah. What's the name of it on YouTube? It's on It's on No Welling, right? The, the, the uh, YouTube pages. N O W E L L I N, right? Yeah. And uh, it's an interview with Big Sight. Big Sight? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, but you know, I got it's a lot of other stuff in DC going on with me and you know the uh, the goofy thing, the Aunt Lizzie, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've been having a back and forth. You know, he mad at me because I wind up pulling the paperwork out on him. In the midst of that, I say, now, I want you to ignore what's going on between me and Aunt Glizzy because everybody knows what's going on with me and Aunt Glizzy. I don't like him. You know, he don't like me. You know, he talks stuff about me, makes up lies on me. And I came with the fact that Aunt Glizzy knows that the government is watching his lives. And Aunt Glizzy lives have been used in the Wellington Park youngest cases when, you know, we all know what happened, to, you know, the unfortunate tragedy that happened to GQ, you know, uh, they spoke about the information that they took from Aunt Glizzy live. We all know that Aunt Glizzy, out his own mouth, admitted to being a suspect in that case. We all know that Aunt Glizzy, out his own mouth, said that he went down the grand jury four times. You know, we all know that Aunt Glizzy was enrooted and entwined into that case. They looked at Aunt Glizzy, and you know, they we all now that we know that GQ was a suspect, right? I mean, GQ was a suspect in Aunt Glizzy's brother's case and that GQ went and made statements down the grand jury. He was expected to testify on Aunt Glizzy's brother. And this is why the government felt this is all public records, ladies and gentlemen. So, because Aunt Glizzy is going to fight back against this. He's going to tell you all, oh, he's waking it up a case. He's doing this. He's doing, no, I'm not. It's a closed case. People already got convicted. They're out the feds. The case is public information. I'm just giving it to you, right? So what happened is Aunt Glizzy, being old Aunt Glizzy, you know, he um, he was a suspect. And once he left him out the 555, making whatever statement he made, me, uh, he went in on um, 
thought in his, you know, because he's very crafty. He's like a fox. He thought in his mind, he said, how can I give the government a different cha a trail to chase or a different tail to sniff? And what did he start doing? We all know Aunt Lizzie started doing interviews with Say Cheese, telling Say Cheese how they came to kill him, you know, telling, you know, every, you know, speaking about information that we never knew until Aunt Lizzie started telling us, right? And what he did was he was on, he was using Instagram and YouTubes and all these things to incriminate m music. And he was using all these different things to incriminate those young guys. You know, they got locked up. They play Aunt Lizzie's statements. I mean, they play Aunt Lizzie's YouTubes and all these such things in his trial. The special police officer came in, testified that she reviews Aunt Lizzie's trials. And, you know, I, well, and that's another thing. I have all these, you know, I have all these transcripts, right? I have docket numbers. I have the court reporter's name and phone number. All these bloggers and YouTubers, why haven't y'all been down there to pull these records? Y'all are that lazy. Y'all, these YouTubers and bloggers are so lazy that what do they do? They sit there waiting for you to give them a story. Then they record everything that they see on your Instagram or you that you said on live. And that's the money that they're chasing. They're chasing the money. Only one you only one YouTuber that I've seen lately go out to get his story. And that was Noellen. Everybody else sits in the house lazy and just like go out like and you you allow Aunt Lizzie to dismiss the fact that these are real government documentations. There's docking numbers and there are uh, court reporters numbers that you can call and check credentials and all that. Like, how do you let the Aunt Lizzie dismiss it as fake? But that's the lazy YouTubers and bloggers. And I promise you this. <laughs> Listen to my presidential speech, y'all. I promise you this, right? If you vote me YouTuber of the year, right? <laughs> I'm going out and getting information. Let somebody post the docket number and I see it. I'm going down there. Just like I went down there and I bet Aunt Glizzy $5,000 he won't bring his ass down there and prove me lying. And you ain't, you see he ain't never answered that. He ain't never respond. Now one time to that $5,000 challenge, everybody that follow my Instagram know, you know, but that's Aunt Lizzie. He's a master of deception, and he's the master of misleading and misguiding, right? And they go for it. They go for it because they love Aunt Lizzie, and they don't want Aunt Lizzie to lose, right? And I get it. He's 20 years. 20 years he had these people follow him, love him, and look forward to a beard. Well, you know, Aunt Lizzie, it's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> right. But so now back to Gilly the Kid. So I didn't mean for it to go that way. People said, Psych, you set that up. Psych, you threw rocks and hid your hands. No, I said, I said, Gilly, when you put in Big Psych on YouTube, you're going to see the good that I do, right? Because I'm a philanthropist, right? You're going to see the good that I do. However, you're going to see some mess too. And then that mess is a mess with Aunt Glizzy. And when you see that mess, I don't want you to look at me as anything other than, you know, what I'm telling you I am. You know, yeah, I entertained it. Yeah, you know, but, and, uh, you know, and I told him, like, you know, they, you know, Aunt Lizzie, you know, to me, that's, that he's hot. That's hot. Like, if you know, and then he told me, hey, the police are watching this lies. I'm 100% sure the police are watching this lies. Aunt Glizzy has said that I have weapons. I don't have, he said I had guns. I just came home from 15 years incarceration. I'm a returning citizen. I don't have a gun license. I don't have any guns. And Glizzy said I had six guns, right? That's one. And Glizzy, after he said, I know that the police are watching this live. And Glizzy said I had six guns, right? And Glizzy said that I violated my parole, right? And Glizzy then said, you know, that I'm trying to attack Eon. We all remember the Pink Panther, right? I'm trying to attack and do things, that all this crazy stuff, like I'm violent. All, like, I was locked up for multiple homicides, right? That I did not commit, right? In the system, on black and white, I am known as a violent offender, right? Why would you run around making me seem like I'm doing violence or I got weapons to commit violence? And listen, that's hot to me. I don't, y'all say it's tipping. 
To me, that's a new era word. Oh, it's tipping. No, to me, if you tip, you'll tell. <laughs> I think he's <laughs> right <laughs> straight up and down. So, and then like you, he knew, right? He knew that they was investigating him for these hom for GQ's homicide. He knew he tells you this. And then he goes on live and talks about Vivek, you know, in depth. It, you know, that incident that occurred that night, he spoke about it. He testified about it. And they used it in them boys' lives. So you're telling me because he didn't go down the court building and make a statement and he did it on live. Whether you go down, whether you go down 555 and make a statement or whether you do it on live, the police takes them and they used it in somebody's trial. What's the difference? What's the difference of going down to 555 testifying and the government uses your statement and you doing it on live and the government uses your statement? What's the difference? Seriously, though. Like, y'all asking me this. Like, in, my, in, in, in the comment section, I want you to answer me. You know what? Every time I speak to y'all, I'm going to ask y'all a question because I want your opinion. I want to interact with y'all, right? I want to do something to Aunt, see, Aunt Glizzy wants you to listen to him. He wants you, like, he, this is my floor. This is, this is my world, and nobody else is allowed in it. No, I'm the voice, right? And I can't be the voice without the people. You see what I'm saying? So I want the people to tell me or, you know, break it down to me. Like, it's like, you know, this might be a little, you might be reaching, big boy. You know what I mean? But I'm saying... If I know a crime happened, okay, say me and you go on a, on a robbery, right? And I go down to 555 and tell the government about the robbery. And they take my statement and say, we're going to call you when the trial starts. Or I go online and tell about the robbery and talk about the robbery, knowing the police are listening and watching. And they use it against you in trial. Would you classify me as hot? Just a thought, you know. Just a thought, you know. If they say, it's, it's not the person, it's the message. <laughs> and he got a lot of them. <laughs> but listen, right? Ride with me. So now I tell Gilly about the bullshit. For some reason, y'all know what I call Anglis and his crew. I call him Mickey Mouse and the Mickey Mouse Club, right? So Mickey Mouse and Mickey, so the Mickey Mouse Club, I guess they was on Getty Live, they ran to him. And Glizzy, and Glizzy, man, you know, in the comments you had, you had Ghostface Killer. Uh, look at this, right? You know, so those are some pretty big celebrities. And, you know, I guess the Mickey Mouse Club, they saw him. You, you saw me talking, you know, and they went over there and said, hey, Glizzy, you got to explain this, right? So he comes on the live. Boom, when I see him in the comments, I backs out. I jumps off the live with Gilly. Because I knew it was coming, right? I knew what was coming. So I jump off the live, and I could not believe the representation that he gave the DMV. Go ahead. Go ahead. You want to be, you, you be a comedian. I'm going to help you get on the stage, man. I ain't on no comedian shit, Gilly. I'll beat you the fuck up. And I go hard at you in the street. Ask about me, bro. Man, I'll touch your fucking eyes. Fuck as you talk about. <laughs> hey, man, go ahead and get dropped off at Dallas. If you got it, I'm gone, though. You little big head, little hat, bitch. I'll touch your fucking eyes, though. You come over here talking crazy to me. Why you ain't talking crazy to that old head? I'm crazy. No, why you ain't talking crazy to that old head? That ain't that, that hold on, wait, hold on. Let me ask my life something. Is that the reason why y'all told me to get him over here? Because of what old head was talking about? Cause I ain't hold on, hold on, nigga. Cause I ain't know what old head was talking about. Is that the reason why all y'all was putting the ants up here talking about Getty more head? Cause he come over here talking crazy to me. He ain't talking crazy to old head. I don't know. That's in the same city as him. I don't know him. I made that nigga cry last week. You might want to interview me. I'll be the biggest. Don't talk crazy to me, nigga. Talk crazy to that fucking old head that just came over here that did 15 years in jail, man. Hey, Gilly, I'm bigger than everybody y'all ever interviewed. Stop playing me. Put some respect on my name. You want to come over here talking crazy to me? I don't hey, even nah, know you, talking baby. crazy to you. I told you I fuck with Wayne, though, bro. I fuck with Cash Money. I beat the shit out of you. Oh, man, let me just tell you something. 
I fuck with a lot of niggas. That don't mean I don't fuck with another nigga. So there I you go. The you, the, you, you the I the way. You, you were scared of shit. I'm mad at you, Gilly. What kind of sausage hopping shit is that? Huh? And you be dick riding. Y'all went to the young boy house for 10 no, minutes. No, no. What ass, type okay? of sausage hopping? Sausage Bro, hopping shit. You went to the young boy house for 10 minutes. You go to Utah to see that man, young boy in perfect. You dick riding ass old head. Oh, man. You just, uh, see, you, you a hater. You one of them niggas. I understand. He ain't, you. He ain't let you in the house, you crummy ass nigga. He ain't yeah, let you, your crummy ass in the house. You one of them niggas. Your gun weigh more than your bankroll, man. You got a $700 gun and you got $300 hey, bro, to your name, man. I know what type of nigga Y'all sold y'all sold a boss is. dude, bro. I'm bigger than you, Gilly. <laughs> you sold your soul to the white man. If that man tell you wear a skirt tomorrow, you got to wear a skirt. Hey, hey, niggas on here, too. Niggas, everybody on here saying he ain't like, like that. He just niggas, talking. Niggas, you get they, everybody on here. And these niggas, niggas that I'm know gone, you, I'm gone, they said he ain't like, like that, man. He just talking, man. He just talking because he got lips in the mouth, man. Gilly, I'm really bigger than you, Gilly. I swear to God. Like, they just like, it hey, just bro, talking, man. Bro, you, bro, I swear to God I'm bigger than you. Oh, Gilly, I swear to God my mama. They like, it, bro, bro. Nobody give a fuck about, about, hey, bro, your man be running up with the motivation story. Man, if you can do it, I can do it. You just want to be the man, sit your strong ass down. Nobody give a fuck about you poetic justice ass niggas, man. That's fuck cool. Fuck out of here. That's you cool. ain't knowing that for real. You on podcast time. Cause I'm That's telling you, cool. you really Yo, supposed you know to be. A, I, hey, I'm hey, you know how crazy. Hey, hey, you, you really know how crazy you sound. And you smoking hey, hot and shit. Hey, you know how crazy you sound hating on a bro, nigga that was in jail get, seven get years ago. In the streets and do some gangster shit. You supposed to be back on gangster time. You know why? You, you know. You know I'm not. Man, smoke your no, I'm not. See car. that just lets you know you an idiot. I'm on getting money, nigga. You not, I'm nigga. Sorry, you on. You on. You on here trying to compare yourself to a nigga. I'm bigger than you. I swear to God on my mama. I'm swear to God on my mama. I'm bigger than you. Man, if your mama around my age, I probably plucked a nigga. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Man, I'm a do fucking you, boss. You, you I've been a boss my whole you life, you nigga. You know what I mean, niggas? You mama's sacrifice little cuz. Stop playing you with me, like nigga. You ain't acting like you still mad. You ain't you talking about. Mad I'm probably you bigger than you. I'm Why bigger than you. I swear to God on my mama. What type of nigga talk like that, bro? I ain't in no competition with you, nigga. My bank account bigger than yours, nigga. That's all that matters. You busted and disgusted, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? You come on here thinking you gonna talk slick to me with your busted and disgusted ass. You tangle and twist like any ass pretzel, nigga. Oh, here just came on here and said you told on a nigga. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Oh, here just came on here and said you told on a nigga. Fuck you talking about, man. Oh, here just came on here and said you told on a nigga. Look how your facial expression change up now, nigga. Don't be coming at me. Come on, come at the old head that said you was that said you told on a nigga. Don't come at me. Come at the old head that said you told on a nigga. Fuck it. Here it is, Gilly the Kid. You're trying to make it in the in in this realm, right? This is why Aunt Glizzy doesn't go no further than where he at. This is why they they he's named he's labeled as a troll. And he goes on bids to be the bid, right? And if y'all notice, ever since he's bumped heads with me, the first two things to ask him about is telling, is his brother hot? And, you know, the sneaky head he liked to get from Will Roy. <laughs> we all know about that, right? So now, right, that I have shined more light on who he really is, he hates me. He don't like me. He's coming, guns drawn. And because I wasn't on the live, he took that frustration and that anger out on Gilly. And I couldn't believe my eyes. Like, wow, my ears. I'm like, is this Aunt Glizzy? He comes straight through the door. There was some old head on here just now. And then he keep calling me an old head. I'm not even old. I'm not even old. What the fuck you, where the fuck you get that shit from? Like, it's just, it, did an old head just get over here and Gilly like what you know he not even he like I don't even know what you talking about slew the Gilly man because he kept a gangster. So and Glizzy start yeah because I thought it was some old head on here and talking shit on the room and that's when he starts to get into it like Gilly I'm bigger than you Gilly like oh F listen right I noticed from the FBG main interview right he went out there and he was dick riding 
right? He went, he went ball jogging. You know, he galloped in. He galloped in from D.C. all the way out there, whatever they was at. And he was out there like, yeah, I said, say cheese. Is Gilly the kid? I mean, is, is, if FGB Maine going to be out here, if he going to be out here, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, uh, come out there and see. I'm like, oh, look at that, look at that international dick riding this boy doing. Right? I'm saying, was it just me that saw that? Then, then he like, he, he comes back to DC and starts trolling the man. You just sat next beside the man and, and like you, you was, you was in his arms. Right, and now you trying to you get some Gilly the Kid live, and you talk all this shit about Gilly, and start dick. But you started off dick right here, Gilly. I fuck with you all, Lil Wayne. Ah man, and I'm like, well, what the fuck kind of representation of the city he got going on, right? But let's just wake it up, man. Let's just you know, it, I, that's just me thinking, you know. But y'all tell me what y'all think. It's big psych, man.